My next guest is a legendary West End Bill Topper. He's Michael Ball. <laughs> Michael Ball on the show. Give me Michael. How are you, love? I love Michael Ball. Michael is that rarest of things. He is a performer who's been at the top for 76 years. That's remarkable. <laughs> Two less than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my next guest, considerately. <laughs> and I was out. Did we get my next guest out? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Ball. <laughs> Changes everything, brings you glory, brings you shame. Nothing in the world will ever be the same. <laughs> I think. I think the fellas were worried about you coming out because they, they think you're judging their singing. Do you listen to that and think, well, is that good enough? Is it, no, there you... were some great top notes going Thank on in there. Oh, that's that's very impressive. <laughs> now, Thank I'm you. delighted Michael Ball is here because you've never come on the show before. No, I haven't. Okay, and, and Michael, I have a radio show on Radio 2. Michael's come on there a few times. He's always a charming and lovely guest. I always enjoy your company. Thank you. I like to think we could become friends. Well, <laughs> it's good to have a goal. Yes. <laughs> my worry is this. The, I don't think you're hip enough to be my friend. That's my wife. Oh. I don't mean that unkind. Yes, you do. Actually, it's a I don't. Fact. I worry Why? about Why? whether you, because you're Why? not a cool guy. Am I I'm not? a cool guy. You're not a cool guy. <laughs> I'm joking. No, you're not. But that's okay. <laughs> I am joking a bit. All right, thank you. But you're not cool. Fine. Does it bother you not being cool? No, I'm very happy. <laughs> no, it does actually. I really, how can I be cool? What? Give me advice. Because you can't be cool because you sing show tunes, and that's unfortunate. But I don't just sing show tunes. What's your favourite show song of all time? To perform? Yeah. There's a song that was written for Jesus Christ Superstar called Gethsemane, which is going to. I can't do it for you now because it goes from. No, it's it's. Jesus Christ singing it, and it's Jesus got big. Jesus Christ. This song's Jesus Christ Superstar. Superstar. Looks like, like a woman, woman and he wears a bra. <laughs> <laughs> it was Georgie Best, though. It was at the time. It wasn't was it? Georgie Best. Uh, have you ever played that on stage? Have no, you ever done? no, no. Would no. you like to do that? I would have done. I don't think I could do. I can't. Why do it. could you not do that? My back. It's too bad. <laughs> what does he have to do? Li limbo dancing. He has to be. Like, <laughs> he has to be. He's just got to stand like that for half an hour. Then, if Madonna can do it her way, you could pull it off, can you? <laughs> How old are you, Michael? I'm 44. <laughs> I'm so I'm so upset being 44. It's horrible. Why are you upset about being 44? Well, because I'd rather be 34. Well, wouldn't we all? But you can't do anything about it. No, I know. It. I and know. you're a very good-looking man for 44. Thank you very much. You're a young good. man. But it's all falling apart, looking. isn't it? Is when it? You, when you start getting... Well, how old are you? I'm in my third... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on. Be, 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 it's... 45. You liar. I am 45. <laughs> I thought you were older than that. How old are you? <laughs> I meant that... Do you know what? How rubbish that is. You couldn't tell when you finished. <laughs> What's Why? coming out of you? Licorice? <laughs> I bet it wouldn't show up on black. What are you doing looking at it for? <laughs> oh, come on. Everybody looks at their poo when they wipe the... <laughs> Don't they? Michael Ball, superstar, looks at his poo and he's gone too far. <laughs> you do not look at your poo. <laughs> uh, you see, 44, I don't think, I'm 45, I don't consider myself, I don't feel old at 45. Do you actually feel... Well, when stuff I mean, you feel less going. young, I suppose, yeah. but do you but feel old? Well, physically, yeah. I mean, like, I went to the gym, I got a, a really bad back. I, I know, know you, what, and I you, can I show know. you how to get rid of that. I bet you can't, I, I wish can. you would. I can show you how. Well, please do. All right, because I had a really bad back this year, and if you're at home, this is useful for you. It's to do with stretching, Michael. Yes, I know. Okay, as you get older. Now, this is... The... <clears throat> <laughs> now, lower back. Yes. This one. Okay, you get that. This here is connected to the back. This is so appalling. <laughs> now, this is what you must do. You lean forward, right? Yeah. And you push the buttock in oh. hard as you can. Oh! But no, that's just stretching that bit. Oh, then, my friend. It? Yes, it feels painful here, but later on, the benefit will be up there really? for me. Do you go on the other side? I'm, hoping, I'm hoping this will be one of your publicity photos <laughs> on your next tour. <laughs> that, oh, seriously, that will sort you out. That sorted me out this year. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, blimey, now it's gone. Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, well, 
So how do you feel about getting I'm, older, Jonathan? I'm not warmed up yet. <laughs> I, w I rushed in. Seriously, that will help. Well, you. I, I, I'm bugger. I went to the gym for the first time in a year. Well, yesterday. but you've got to warm up gently and get into that. Did you well, rush in? Stupid. Yes, I thought I'm coming on telly. I better get fit. <laughs> so <laughs> one one session. Okay. When was the first time you were on stage in a big musical? When was the first time you realised that you could do that? Because that must be, I would have thought, an incredible feeling. Yeah. Um, well, the first job I ever did was, was a musical, Godspell. And it was that moment, literally, I was playing a, the John the Baptist Judas part. And it's literally, as these big gates in the centre of the stage open, and I, you hear a bell note and he starts singing, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Dramatic pause. Uh, Pre... And no, you could, I could just... Prepare <laughs> ye the way of the Lord. Two, three, four. Pre <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm harmonising. The they of the Lord. Lord. Come, one time, one time. Prepare <laughs> the way <laughs> of the Lord. Yes. Come on. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Michael, have you ever done a musical? Did you do a musical? Uh, I, I don't know whether I could sing. I don't think I could keep a straight face during a song. If I was doing a song, I mean, for a start, I don't think people take me seriously. Uh, but at the same time, it must be quite hard sometimes. I mean, do you ever crack up when you're singing? Do you ever lose it? I crack up on stage all the time, yeah. All the time. And, and, and what do you do? Can you get yourself back into the song? Well, it's, it depends. If it's something that's happened and an audience sees it and they, they know what's happened, then they know you're human and you're laughing. If something happens that they're not aware of... So something off to the side of the stage yeah, or, yeah. or something and internally, like your body? Yeah. Do you ever break wind? Yes. Yeah. Well, I know, I know as a, obviously in life you break wind, yeah. I mean, no, on I, stage. I, I, when I get nervous, I get very windy. At the worst occasion... It... Hold it. Haven't you learned more about Michael than you thought you would be <laughs> Do you get nervous, though, before Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I would not have thought that you got nervous. Really? You, well, because no, you're top of your game, I would have thought you... No, I do, I do, every time. Every time I go out, it's... it's, it's so every it's, time you're on stage, you are breaking wind? <laughs> Quite a lot. I did, I did, when I was in Aspects of Love, this... Oh, God. Aspects of love. You're farting doing aspects of love. <laughs> That's putting a whole new spin on the whole experience. Well, I, I ruined one show because of it. By farting? Yes. <laughs> Jesus, how bad is your win? <laughs> it was... It was poor, I'm, I'm, we had this scene where I'm... In Aspects of Love, I'm, I'm basically seen with all the female characters from the age of 17. That's you from Aspects... Is that you in Aspects of Love? Yeah. Wow. OK. <laughs> Well, about 12, don't she I? looks like you have just farted. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Did she always that way, or was that, oh God, he's cut it again? <laughs> <laughs> we must get an extractor fan fitting above this stage. <laughs> so you would. Well, no, not with her. There, there was a, a young actress, she was about. It's Diana Morrison, about 17, 18. And she's put, meant to be playing my niece, who's in love with me. Oh, yeah. And there's this, this really tender scene where she's. I, I've sung her a little lullaby and she's in bed and I'm going to leave and she she um, looks at me and goes Alex let me hold you I've got so much on my mind and she pulls back the bedclothes and I'm standing there and I'm meant to turn round have that moment of indecision and then go and sit on the bed with her and I turned round and I let go <laughs> And I'm so, I do a part, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it was awful. <laughs> and, and, and clinging. <laughs> but she looked at me and went... <laughs> and then I have to, and I just went. I sat there and I walked to the bed, got in with her. And did she fan the duvet as well? Did she... Uh... <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so, I'm so ashamed of myself telling all these stories. <laughs> Michael, you're known for being a singer, first and foremost. You might be an actor, first and foremost, but right. I know you do musical theatre, and obviously the two are together. But when people think of Michael Ball, they think of a singer. They think of a very talented, very successful right. singer. Uh, and it's weird, because I know Barbara Streisand, who's, you know, got to be known as one of the best female vocalists in the world, one mm. of the most successful, she studied as an actress first. But I think, just yeah, happened. I think the best singers did, did but that. But would you rather have been successful as an actor, first and foremost, and not a singer? No, 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 no. Music's a, the, the, my favourite me. I love music, I love singing. I love the, the, the power it gives you on a stage. When you walk out in front of an audience, uh, particularly when you do, I do concerts rather than when I do um, uh, musicals, uh, you, you, you just know how to, to convey an emotion, a feeling, um, be it light, sad, whatever, to an audience through music. You say more with a bar of music than And do you prefer words. songs that have like an emotional weight, like a sad song? Or, because I would imagine that in a way that must be probably, I would have thought, quite e easier to convey than just being happy and upbeat. 
No, if, if you've got a sort of nice sling, sing along happy song, you just get into it and you don't have to. But not as satisfying, if, I would have thought. Uh, well, there's nothing beats a bit of rock and roll when you get up and you, you launch into something like that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's great, and people start jumping and screaming. Because you're doing rock and roll on the new album, aren't you? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. What, but it's kind of like, um, I would have thought, you have to choose rock and roll that suits your voice, don't you? You can't just yeah. do anything. I mean, the album isn't rock and roll. I, I, I chose one track. The, the, the kind of, uh, of songs that, that attract me are ones with great lyrics, ones that, that, that have a story to tell. Uh, and with rock, I like that kind of anthemic theatrical rock. Let's have a look at a clip. Now, this is Since You've Been Gone. Oh, OK. okay a little okay. bit of that. The, this is from the album. It's Michael Ball's new album. It's called One Voice. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's, is it out now? I guess it's out it's, now. It's uh, out on the 30th of it's October. It's out on the 30th of October, just in time for Halloween. Yes. <laughs> did you see what you did hey, there? I didn't do anything there. Uh, this is Michael. This is a great song. It is. And brilliantly performed. Thank Michael you, Ball doing Since You've Been Gone. Michael Ball, and since it. you've been gone, right, Michael, yeah. am I right in thinking they didn't spend a lot of money on that video? <laughs> that, look, it looks to me like you've just barged into your local MFI and just sat, <laughs> bloke trying to sell a cow to going, have you finished with the bedroom, Michael? I was Michael? in Australia, you can, You won, because you that's a picture, see. they're you moving can... the picture behind, the, it's a bloke carrying it behind you, like Johnson. that. <laughs> Sydney you Opera House, not, okay. and if you look at the advert, you'll see you'll see the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> you'll see, uh, so you've exotic round It the also world. looks a bit like you're taking a dump on that bed right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, I can't. Yeah, like okay. a burglar. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I didn't really know you until I met you on the radio show, and yeah. I just thought, what a charming and what a funny and what a lovely bloke you are. Oh, thank and you. And you've proved it again this evening. How nice of you to come on the show. Thank you so much, Mr. Michael Ball, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yes. 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 Yes.